Hello and welcome to a craft with me in the uh, white journal. Uh, and before I start, I want to again um, say that I will see they knew there's a red light someplace on this house. Um, they, um, I wanted to thank you uh, for your toleration for yesterday's uh, carelessness. I'm going to try to be very careful from now on to make sure that I don't think that I'm on standby and am not. So, today, before I begin on the uh, pages of the uh, White Journal, I want to give a shout out to uh, uh, Gail Augustinelli on uh, YouTube for uh, piquing my interest in her uh, latest video on um, using um, uh, plastic wrap to attach napkins to uh, cardstock. And uh, Gail, thank you. So, I attached some of these napkins. Now, I did not do a uh, perfect job, and I realized that um, um, I think using the top of my, the metal top of my dryer was not a firm enough place. So, live and learn. I did uh, use a uh, larger iron than uh, uh, Gail did, but other than that, I, uh, I'm happy with the achievement here uh, and have learned that I'm going to uh, try doing this on my glass top um, because I think the firmness is a big help. So I did these two thinking that they might be, um, might be nice in, my, uh, in this white journal. And I did these uh, two little... Um, Two sweet little girl napkins and I thought I would uh, try my best to find a place for them um, because they are quite lovely. Um, I even like the uh, design uh, at the edge of the napkin in which they uh, press emboss the two pages together. It, uh, it's a distinct pattern and uh, let me see if I can get closer so that you can see that. Do you see that down there? I just think it's so lovely. So, uh, thank you again, Gail. And today's plan. I took time um, before I turned on the camera to use my uh, stays on Dove Gray to put just the tiniest little edge around uh, front and back of, um, of these pages. What I've decided to do today is um, I've laid out six uh, distress inks and oxides, and um, uh, I've laid out eight, because there are eight pages, I've laid out eight uh, stencils, and I want to just um, add the slightest amount of, um, of color as a very far background on these pages. So, I'm just going to take them as they come out of my uh, flower drawer and uh, see what I, can, uh, what I can accomplish here. I like to keep this maybe right like this. I'm thinking just that little bit. Yes, I get most, I get most of, if I get these two leaves, this spray, I'm going to cover this bit and I'm going to cover this bit. Where is it? Here we go. The, the savior of stenciling right here, just a little tiny tap of, uh, of this right here. And I've taken out a, um, a practice paper because I want to make sure that these are very, very, very pale, so as to maintain that, uh, so as to maintain that white thought. Sometimes I can't help it. I just overdo little things like that. 
There we go. So, all right, what color will this one be? I'm going to try my new peacock feathers. Haven't used it yet. And here we go. And I'm ready to um, follow my subby suggestions about uh, rubbing it onto this paper with a uh, baby wipe. So, let's see what we can do here. We just want the tiniest, tiniest bit on here. Just a suggestion. See if that's suggesting anything. No, not quite enough. Here we go with a learning curve again. Well, that's a good thing. Let's see. Oh, a little more. Ah, uh, yes. Yes. I spend my time adding papers to the uh, to the bin containing the uh, the makings of the uh, white journal, and it has gotten uh, gotten quite full. Will, uh, that will give me many options. And since there are um, eight uh, grommeted pages already, I'm not going to uh, I'm not going to want to uh, add too many, but it's the book is certainly able to uh, stand some more. We'll see when we go along. the slightest suggestion. And on the back of this, maybe, 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 just a little bit. Right there. Just a little bit right here. On the back of this page. this to be very light. Oh, that's still a little too light. Now this can be completely covered if the spirit takes me, but right now go over here and I'm not going to overthink this. I'm just going to try that uh, trick and see. Now this is not, uh, this is paper, so let's see what happens. Because it might not rub off the paper like it would off a, uh, a plastic uh, substance. We'll see. Well, yes, yes, look at that. Just a bit. All righty. All righty. Now, another page. Put this one away. And let's see what comes up next. Oh, some well used, some well used ones here. This was used in uh, Ruth's journal, so I think I'm going to use some blue. Yes, I am. Alrighty, blue and blue, and I'm going to have to be very light-handed with this again. Oh, 
Blue is showing. Oh, yes, it is. Oh, yes, it is. Bingo. And maybe just this little one down here. Just that little one right there. This and this. Yeah, let's put this one down here. Let's just put that one down there. Another page. And what's next? Ew, this is a big one. So this one is definitely just going to be the flower. It is just going to be half of this flower. Let's see. Way over here, because this is a big puppy. Yes. Maybe I'll do uh, maybe I'll do tea dye for this one. happening. Yes. I'm going to add just a little extra to the edge of these petals. All right. So that one's a little tea dye. And just, uh, just two petals up out of this corner. And these petals have more color at the throat than the other ones on the other side. Well, nobody can see two sides at once. So. Okay, tea dye. I don't think much of this is going to uh, is going to come, but uh, maybe. This is the leaf spray coming up now. And I'm going to 
to uh, of that. Hmm. Maybe this way. Maybe this way. Yes. Maybe this. I'm going to use the new uh, uh, peeled paint. Oh boy. Isn't that going to be pretty? Let's see what happens. Okay. Peeled paint, here we go. Isn't that a pretty color? Yeah, let's see. Let's immediately. Let's just do some peel to paint back here now. This is the back side. Let's um, let's make a peel to paint statement back here now. quite nice. And I wouldn't be at all surprised if we never see that again, if something ends up on top of it, but uh, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Lots of stuff found its way off there. And what is next? Oh yes, often used, often used. A little, a little masking tape of this one. Move up just a smidge, let me move out a smidge. bit of uh, pickled, picked ras uh, raspberry. Yes, yes.
and just just the tiniest bit here. everything that we're finding on here. Alrighty now. <laughs> too much fun. Just too much fun. Five it is. Wilted violet. Okay. Let's go down here. We'll come out of this side. Yes, we will. And we will include a uh, hmm. so we'll include that stem to nowhere and half of that flower. Let me cover it up that no, it almost covers that grommet. Let's see if I can get that grommet covered. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Bombs away. Two left and two stencils. There is too much on here for me to bother to put this on here. I'm thinking it would be just if the orange and if the orange and the purple came out, it would not be a happy sight. So stencil. Let's cover the grommet. Hmm. Maybe a little of the newbie. Let's have a little bit of uh, peacock feathers. Let's see what's uh, let's see what's left on that sponge first. Not too much. very much. There we go. 
go. Let's get a good, good dark ones down here. Why not? And let's see what let's see what the overall picture is. Yes. Just a touch. And now, why not? Why not go up here? Absolutely. Whoops. Yes. See what comes out here. An old favorite. An old favorite. Right there. Let's see what it looks like when we just pop a little bit of wilted violet on here. always comes through for me. And I like that, so let's do it again. Let's do it again. I loved this uh, stencil for eons, and uh, I have no idea how happy making it would be with uh, junk journaling. Next, I'm going to have to give that a think. But, so far, I have uh, eight pages that are uh, partially seen to. And, you know, quite willing and quite accepting of the fact that this is all liable to disappear, but it uh, it's a starting thought. So, I'm off to a doctor's appointment, and uh, I'll be back because there's nothing like a doctor's office when you have to wait your brains out uh, to have a good thought about what's going to happen in your junk journaling. I just go out of body. See you soon.
As you can see, I've been uh, working off camera a little bit. Uh, I used my uh, much-loved painted garden book to uh, find uh, two pages that I thought might make a pretty uh, envelope, so I chose this one and this one. And then I uh, used this wonderful template that I took from uh, packaging and uh, uh, fussy cut a nice scallop because I'm a, uh, I'm a scallop person. And now, before I go any further, I'm going to get uh, some uh, peeled paint uh, going on the edges just to uh, give them a, uh, a bit of a finished look. And I'm going to uh, Okay, I'm going to then, I'm also going to work on the, um, on the scalloped part of the envelope with a little bit of this color, just because if you can use one shade of Distress Ink, why can't I use my uh, tea dyed? So, I think that tea dyed here will just uh, pick out a little bit of that uh, central scheme in this uh, knot garden. Oh yes, okay, green here, tea dyed there. That, that worked a treat. Now, a little bit of uh, green I think all over this one. I'm going to uh, make a, a, a tied closure using some of my uh, needlepoint uh, fibers. As you can see, right here, they are very. It's a very nice light tie. I just thought a tie would be uh, be pretty. So, tie it is. is going to be to uh, cut the two holes on each one of those. One there. And one up here. And one here. And one, oops, let me hold this this way so I can brace this on the bottom. One there. And now, a little, uh, a little bit of uh, glue to get these, um, to get these, uh, whoops, I think, no, I think I'm going to do this. No. How much of this I'm going to want. This is very, very, very fine. It's a tube and it's got just a little bit of, um, of uh, iridescence in it. If you can see that, let me yeah, get under this light. Yes, there it is. This works uh, similarly to uh, a silk silk ribbon. So, this is going to come in here. And now, let me close, oopsie daisy, don't be crazy here. Aren't you anxious to come out? Well, I think that might be just a little bit much. A little bit over here. Well, 
that would have been bad business. Remove that. That could have been a minor calamity. There we go. There we go. Better. I wasn't patient. And this can go in here. I don't know what I'm going to add to this uh, to this envelope, but uh, We'll see when I come back and go through again. So, I was thinking that this would go right here. Yes, it would. Yep, and tie that a little bit tighter. Or, this might turn out to be too slippery, and if it does, I'll go to another fiber. Let's see if we tie it down good. Let's just see, because it does look nice. Let's see. All right. This doesn't want to be, um, this fiber does not want to be uh, turned into a bow. So... I can certainly cure that problem. Let's see. What else might be in the green drawer? I'm sure there is something that will lend itself well. Look what I found. Those should do. Now, do I want that one or that one? On this one, I want that one. Let's see what happens now. This is uh, a peek into the stash of a uh, lifelong stitcher. And I can see that uh, those are cut strands. So, I ought to be able to just pull one if it does. Oh, it's going to get hooked on those little. That's okay. We can do this. Not a problem. Not a problem. There's one. Okay. I'm going to shorten it. And... to get this right here. That will work. And right here. It's uh, just wonderful the way you can uh, see things and, uh, and all of a sudden it becomes an oops that doesn't uh, that doesn't do uh, quite what you see. So uh, that forces you to jump to uh, that forces you to jump to plan B. There we go. Yes. Okay, lesson learned. Now I'm going to have an envelope, but I also want this to be a tuck. So it's just
Let's just put this down. Right there. Mm -hmm. There we go. Problem is, it's supposed to be there. So, this is going to be here. Yes, it is. And right there it goes. Right there it's going to go. This project is turning out to be quite a uh, learning experience because I'm, uh, I guess because I'm trying new things. And new things can definitely lead. Oh, I learned how fast that uh, this glue takes. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Well, I've used my new toy to uh, cut some reinforcements for the back for the back of these uh, pages around the grommets. And so, so while I have this out, I thought they would. Uh, they might as well find their home. And here they go. So now these two pages are uh, already. And why don't I do the same thing with these other two? Yes. Now I want, and I also have some, um, something to share. And I will uh, let you know who's, of course, let you know whose channel I learned to do this on because, uh, I certainly think that that's uh, part of the wonderfulness of all of this is that we, uh, when we find something that tickles us, we uh, get to share it. Oh, 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 oh. That way, Carol. Thank you. That one. This one, thank goodness for that nice fine tip on that glue. Done. All right, now I just took out this page so that I could show you what I learned. Oh, I'm in love. If you are interested in um, finding out how to make these uh, pockets, uh, please go to uh, Terry, T-E-R-R-Y, Wood, W-O-O-D. She has a playlist 
um, for her uh, tutorials. And there's where you will find many um, uh, folding tutorials for making these pockets. Now I decided to use a little bit better quality um, printer paper and I think I was just going to use it as my learning piece but then I decided that um, it would certainly uh, it would certainly be nice it would hold what I wanted to hold and it would not add too much uh, depth uh, too much weight so let me show you let me start with this one okay one piece of eight and a half by eleven uh, printer paper yields this pocket. So there is a pocket behind and one in front, but when you glue it down here, this opens up to a complete piece of uh, journaling paper. Wowzers, I think thought that was absolutely the most fun, full of possibilities. So definitely a double, a double pocket that is also a very nice big piece of um, a journaling paper waiting to be, uh, get some pretties. Here is another one. And this was uh, wonderful because with our computers we can um, uh, pause things and uh, do it and then go a little further and pause again. And that's exactly how I managed these to do these. They are all uh, pieces of uh, eight and a half by 11 printer paper folded. And I uh, inked the, the inside of each one of these with um, a Distress tea dye. So, here, here, now you have one, uh, if you glue it down around the edge, you have one um, pocket. This is... Mm -hmm. This is another pocket, so that's two pockets. And then, if you um, put your item, your tag or whatever, down into this area, it will just come out the bottom. It will almost, uh, but if it's down at the bottom of the page, that will uh, not do you any good. But it will just slide out and tell you that it's in the wrong place. But if you just look up in here, you go down and you have a third pocket for another thing. And a, uh, a fourth pocket. Was this fun? Now this one took a little paying attention to it, too. Because there are uh, a good number, a goodly number of folds here, but it opens up into a full piece of, um, of journaling paper. And it's, uh, it looks pretty. It looks almost looks like braided paper. It's quite attractive. And won't this be fun to uh, pretty up? Now, the one that has me uh, stopped primarily because I think my, um, I'm thinking, uh, see, my folds are a little bit off. And so I'm going to uh, rewatch and learn. You can see what this is. Uh, if you just glue it down here, you have one tuck, two tucks, three tucks, and hidden places in here. Well, this one is going to have to be a redo because um, I 
something is not right as far as my uh, the papers being a little bit off. And so, um, and I think on this one, I didn't use my bone folder. I think I did it uh, with my finger. And, well, I have some uh, practice to do on, uh, on that one. But learning on YouTube from other teachers. I think I'm off. I believe it's lunchtime. I'm going to do that, and uh, I'll be back a little bit later. Hello. I'm back to my crafting. I've done some um, extra pages that I wanted to uh, add to uh, the white journal, and I've worked on um, some of these fold-outs. So, uh, the first page that I decided to add was this um, uh, page of uh, handmade uh, paper with uh, silk strands throughout. And I thought that would be very pretty, so that's going to go into the journal as an extra page. And I, um, uh, I'm just going to put those in with um, uh, the word, the word, Carol. Uh, you know, protectors, uh, and um, gone. I'll think of it. Uh, so this, as you can see, is a piece of the silk that's in this paper. So that's one. And this is some of the um, uh, paper that I uh, picked up at uh, AC Moore. And I used... Um, whole of the protectors here reinforcements see the word came back thank heavens uh, you just have to be patient and they do come back um, and this is a um, uh, a piece of kind of a it's not quite vellum and it's a kind of a heavy weight uh, tracing paper so I uh, thought that would look pretty another one I decided to use a piece of uh, vellum because um, uh, whoever decides that they uh, want this should journal should go to their home might want to uh, use vellum uh, someplace and of course because of the nature of the uh, ring bound um, binder uh, ring binders uh, in this journal they can uh, put this page any place that suits them this was a uh, a much loved page and for a while I was thinking of using this on the cover but I decided against it so uh, this is, has reinforcements also and a piece of um, uh, printer paper on the back side and this uh, I just because it was uh, laying on the top in um, it's a folder uh, for loose leaf and it was laying right on the top of a pile of for no particular reason uh, at uh, Dollar Tree and I think it was there just because it knew that I needed this. So those are the extra added pages. These are the ones that uh, I had worked on and these have had a chance to dry. So those are ready. Uh, well, they're not ready. They have going to have much more added to them, but the bones are there. And this uh, is an envelope that was uh, sent to me in uh, Happy Mail. And uh, I'm going to uh, use this because of uh, some of the words on here. Aardvark and uh, abilities. I love that word because we all have them. And uh, so this, I just uh, distress the uh, edges. And I spent my um, uh, time working on those uh, uh, fold-outs, journaling fold-outs. On this one, I added two pieces of rock paper. Let's see, here it is. I uh, cut off two pieces of rock paper and added that. And then I added some uh, stenciling to the inside. And if you'll remember from the beginning of the video, I showed you the uh, tea dye, <coughs> uh, the uh, stamping on the inside. So that one is uh, the basics are there. I'm thinking of um, adding uh, a, a pretty scrap uh, conglomeration of uh, lace and um, some cheesecloth and just right there. I just kind of think it needs that. And on this one, 
I uh, went seemed to be uh, seemed to be a green girl lately, so I went back to this one, and uh, I did a little um, uh, stenciling on the inside. <clears throat> but this is uh, this also is going to have some uh, white embellishments of some kind, maybe on in this space. And this one was the last one I did, and I seem to. Uh, have uh, gathered myself, and this was the one that I kind of uh, enjoyed doing the most. Um, this, of course, is another one that opens out, and I put uh, some um, distressing in here, and I went into the uh, the magic folder, which is getting fatter and fatter, and it uh, it gave me this hydrangeas, and uh, so I put that down, and so. Uh, it's possible, of course, to do this with this part folded down in, but I'm thinking that I like it this way, and I'm thinking, going to think of a closure. In fact, I had been watching um, uh, Gail Agostinelli uh, do some um, interesting folder, uh, call, she calls them uh, coins, and uh, I'm going to think I'm going to try that. And uh, so... These are the uh, final steps for today, and uh, I'm going to uh, turn the camera off now, and I'm going to stay right here and get to uh, doing some more because I'm uh, thinking that I need to at least um, cut uh, cut tag for tags, and I have goodness knows I have enough. I have enough bits and pieces here that uh, will turn into tags so nicely. So I'm going to uh, I'm going to be doing that. If you have enjoyed this uh, craft with me, please give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, share with a friend, and I would appreciate your subscribing to my channel. I'll see you soon. Bye now.